What's up, YouTube? Demi here with another news spoiler update. So we got a couple things today. Um, the main thing is that Bex finally gave us the schedule for next week. Uh, so Monday we get to know all the challenge rewards, like what the MTX rewards are going to be for this league, what the challenges look like. Tuesday we get the balance manifesto, which is like a, sh it's a little teaser of what they're going to nerf most likely and what they're looking at. And then Wednesday we get the full patch notes, passive tree data, and item builder info. Today is the uh, 26th, so this will be the 6th. 10 days from now-ish. Oh wait, no, just kidding. How many, eight days from now? It's February, I forgot. Thursday, we get to see all the 2020 gems information. So we get to see like Bane, Solren, all of the other like new aura stuff, and Zealot Tree. They'll actually show us their stats at level 2020, which will be cool. And then Friday, we get to launch. So that's the schedule. Until we get patch notes on Wednesday, none of us can make builds and starter build guys, stuff like that. So keep that in mind. We can give you an idea, like I have my previous uh, starter builds list from lastly linked below in the description. Most likely those builds are all going to still work. Any of the self-cast or spellcaster type builds are going to be stronger, um, and I doubt they nerf anything so hard that you can't play it this next league. So just keep that in mind. If you're a new player looking and freaking out, they're going to have patch notes soon, and then we'll start putting up starter build guides. Uh, the next little bit of news, they've remastered the soundtrack of several in-game areas, and they're adding new music. Um, they're just trying to make like a cohesive overall soundtrack for the entire game. So here's a little bit of a preview. It's pretty cool. They're also planning on letting us be able to change the music in our hideouts. That'll be nice. My hideouts, like, my hideout music I've been hearing for, like, three years now, so being able to change that would be pretty cool. I like it. Just skipping through each act, basically. I know, I like it. It feels dark and gritty and evil and good. At the same, same time, it's pretty cool. All right, the next little piece of news here we have is the Xanacraft, or sorry, the Xana mods available on the mount device next league. Bex posted these on Reddit. I say this every single league. I feel like they need to post this stuff all on one place because if you look at the actual news page on the main site, all they posted yesterday and today was the soundtrack. So this is not on the main website, this is not on the main website, and this is not on the main website. It's on Twitter or Reddit. And I'm like, please cohesively put it all in one place. I say this every league, but you know. I'm just gonna let this keep playing while we talk about the rest of this stuff. But yeah, these are the map mods available next league. So we'll have uh, Portrait Favors the Brave, which is fun. It just chooses a random map mod, even the ones that you don't have unlocked yet any of these. I would like this to be changed to be any Xana mod ever would be kind of cool, but right now it's only the ones that are available on the device. Uh, then we have, of course, alternate of the same tier, so if you get stuck in a specific map on your atlas, you can just flip it into another random one of the same tier. You can shape any tier 1 to 5, any tier 1 to 10, and you can elder any map tier 1 to 15, which is usually worth it, honestly. Like, you can pick any map you want and just make it a T16 immediately, which is pretty insane for map returns and just general loot. And of course we get Nemesis back next week, so you can chance your headhunters, ancient orb your headhunters, all that good stuff. Um, if you're gonna do that, I recommend you do it on an I-84 or higher leather belt, so that you can potentially vol quantity on it. Currently there is no quantity headhunter in the game, and you have to be an I-84 or higher belt to get that. So if you're gonna make headhunters next week, do it on I-84 or higher bases. That way you have the chance to double corrupt those into like quant move speed or something like that and generate 20 plus mirrors for all those mf standard characters <laughs> me you know okay so uh next thing is bloodlines came back bloodlines is a bunch of extra magic monsters magic monsters are really good for map returns and xp and loot in general so that's good to see on a 2c you can just spam that if you're struggling with maps ambush is strong boxes great essence they've changed as well instead of only getting two essence monsters you can now get three so it's one c per essence monster in the map basically which is pretty cool uh, it'll give you a little bit better chance at getting like horrors and deliriums and sanities and whatnot. Breach has made a comeback on the map device. Um, I don't personally like Breach, but if you're running wide open maps, it's pretty good. Harbinger's back on the Atlas map device and Beyond is back. So we can get XP farming like hell with Beyond again. They've also changed it so that the, um, this is really loud. 
they've changed it so that the bosses in Beyond, like, oh god, what are their names? I can't remember their names. Bameth and the, the, I don't remember the other one's names right now. Holy crap. Abixoth, they drop maps now. So if you're farming Beyond a lot, you'll be able to get map bosses or maps from those bosses as drops, which is pretty huge. And then of course they preview this. This is the new Xana model. Um, they didn't really say anything else about this. Bex just posted it, but I'm pretty sure what this means is they're going to give us a new like character model rework for all of the NPCs, hopefully, because some of these people are pretty outdated. Like, I mean, look at this noodle boy. We're going to miss them, but they're just they're just really out of date. Spaghetti armed witches and spaghetti legs. And then, of course, the Templar with his giant ass giraffe neck. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a full character model rework. Xana looks pretty cool. I mean, I kind of like the current Xana, but that's probably just nostalgia speaking. I don't even know where she is right there. Like that's current Xana, right? But they do look pretty out of date. Like they're kind of low poly. They don't look super polished. This looks really good. And it's still Xana. I mean, mostly. I don't know. Her face is a little bit different. So we'll see what that does. Um, I think we'll probably get to keep the newer character models with the original character models. Like all of these people. You're probably going to see them reworked. Oh, I should have stayed on the character selection tree, my bad. These guys. Wow. All right. I'm doing really good at this menu navigation thing. I thought I could like close this. I can't. I would ideally like to be able to like this. Look, you see how like jagged they look? They don't look smooth. They don't look polished. They're just super old character models. They could use some updates. Um, I'm hoping they don't give the Templar pants because we all know old man doesn't wear pants and he's got a giraffe neck. But other than that, I mean, they just could use some polishing. So hopefully that comes out nicely. Um, other than that, that's it for the day. There's nothing too crazy going on, so I'll keep this video pretty short. But patch notes on Wednesday next week, so keep that in mind. I'll see you guys next video, and that'll be done. Yeah.